welcome back to the channel pisces the night time is the right time we are out here in the heart of nature during the magic hour the last couple hours of the day getting to watch the sunset yesterday was good so i thought i'd do it again today so yeah come in and uh come in like share subscribe add value to the channel we're actually using the light sears tarot deck to pull in some messages from the collective divine I have oracles as well, romance angels. We'll see if we need to use them. But yeah, like and share the video. Subscribe, add value, allow the message to permeate throughout the collective. Let's get to your therapeutic messages here, uh, Pisces. Not as dark as yesterday, but, uh, you know, still that atmospheric feeling. We have two of pentacles, peace, balance. This could be work related trying to ground your thoughts maybe the hermit seeking some sort of a seclusion though maybe a timeout a break or something like that lunchtime I'm not sure what this is overnight working possibly two of Pentacles they could be starting some sort of a new financial journey or trying to balance your finances possibly even health as well what else do we have here for Pisces? Here you go, coming up in your reading with the High Priestess. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocation here. This could be um, tithing. Some sort of a donation. Charity. We have Death and Rebirth. This could be some sort of a funeral. Paying for some sort of a funeral or a spiritual passing. This could be ashes, though. Scattering someone's ashes, yeah, across the sea. We have a high... Um, okay, so we do have a high priestess. I was going to say another high priestess here. But we have the Queen of Cups, who is a uh, priest. Some sort of a nun or spiritualist. Now, this could be baptism or um, some sort of a detox here. I'm getting a hint of traveling, but I don't see any movement here. Someone sprinkling someone's ashes here. What is this, a beach day? Hmm. Some sort of a water park, possibly? Seeking out, yeah, some sort of a emotional retreat, a vacation. Some form of a self-love here with the Hermit card. We also have Eight of Pentacles, yeah, dealing with some sort of an anxiety, looking for a timeout, possibly a day off or a vacation going through some sort of a spiritual awakening or spiritual expansion something that's, that's playing over in your head over and over again this could be some sort of a memory seven of swords thinking about uh the last time you were tricked or betrayed or fooled or this could be you traveling at nighttime could be uh via boat or plane here i don't see anyone actually driving their car we have King of Swords, online activity, ordering a flight ticket or something like that, looking up different travel locations, making a list. Is this school? Someone's trying to pick a school. We have Ten of Cups, maybe trying to look where you want to settle down or start a family at. This could be exploring other people's cultures, but the Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment, it's joy, complete happiness, lineage. See the happy family, one of my happy family cards. The mother and the father and the children. Again, some sort of memories. Memories are going on here. Someone's being triggered. Could be some sort of a um, DNA activation as well. Self-development, self-fulfillment. Self-taught. Could be teaching yourself. That's very interesting. How do you think people learned in the first place? You think it was just one person that just came down and taught everyone something? <laughs> like they say Moses did with the Emerald Tablets, the commandments. One person just came down and told everyone, hey, it's wrong to kill your mother. <laughs> but before that, people were born not knowing that. <laughs> that is wrong to kill people, right? <laughs> um, we got a mosquito. I want to smack him so bad. There we go. Got him. Ugh. But yeah, that's what I have for you here today. Let's pull uh, Romance Angels. Actually, before I get to the Romance Angels, 
let's see the major arcana to a pinnacle so yeah definitely trying to ground yourself trying to keep your head on straight is what i'm getting here with the virgo and the high priestess here definitely trying to could be taking advil or something like that tylenol to get rid of a headache minor aches and pains here is what i'm getting with the four swords and eight of swords that's double the energy this could actually be a four 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 but we have four and eight someone could be going through joint pains or something like that on top of a mental illness paying for medicines and psychiatric treatment here seven of swords this is internal six of pentacles this is reciprocating monies or paying for something here a doctor's visit yep poison here with the death card death and rebirth uh getting a second opinion with the king of swords or that can be the doctor we know that i look at a sword as a scalpel so it could be getting a second opinion from a doctor a professional opinion here maybe a psychiatrist i'm not sure if this is a surgeon and then we have the queen of cups here with the ten of cups family this could be a mother here getting a second opinion about how she's going to do uh carry out her birth this could be a doula as well I have poetry as well. Maybe some sort of a poetry night out. Mm, yeah. But Major Arcana, Scorpio with death and rebirth. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer. So a lot of water energy, a lot of intuitiveness, a lot of psychic gifts and abilities. So we have singers, dancers, and poets that are able to uh, change the emotions of people or affect the way people th uh, think. We have thought-provoking energy here with the um, King of Swords. Someone rewriting history or rewriting rules. Or this is like practice or training or something like that. Yeah. So that's what I have for you here today, Pisces. Let me actually do some uh, romance angels. Now we have the swarm. The swarm of mosquitoes coming out here. So let's go ahead and finish up your reading. All right, romance, angels, the oracles. I don't know how some people that watch tarot feel. They feel like the oracles are the best part. Some people only read oracle uh, messages. Weird. But hey, man, there's a lane for everyone, right? I'd rather not complain about what somebody else does and just do my own, uh, do my own thing, right? This is a black man's uh, interpretations, artist's rendition um, of tarot. My own perspective. So, romance angels, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this could be codependency. Uh, also, what this could be is people not accepting that you're different. They're wanting you to be just like you because if you're just like you and you're, uh, if they're just like you and you're just like them, that means they can achieve the same things you achieve. Now, if you start to elevate and they can't, they'll hate you for it. Codependency. They want you to share liquor bottles, liquor bottles with them and short, share blunts with them and share bad experiences with them. And then as soon as you start to turn your life over. <laughs> Did I talk about body counts in this video? Chemistry. Yeah. So we have codependency and chemistry. Hmm. This could be the one. A love relationship coming towards you? Some sort of a friendship, soulmate possibly. Let your friends uh, help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, so these, these are friendships. Long acquaintances and things like that. Again, codependency. It's funny how you can be friends. And this is how a male and a female can mess up their friendship. They could be friends. Growing up together, the girl next door, the boy next door. We've known each other for 20 years. Never asked each other for anything. And now as soon as we get in a relationship, we're expecting things from each other. And now you done messed up a whole 20, 25 year relationship with someone that could have been the one. We have this could be the one here. We have attraction. Yeah. Attraction, chemistry, codependency. We try to make sure that relationships are not codependent. If you need to, uh, if you don't love yourself and you're expecting to get in a relationship and want someone to love you, it's destined to be uh, a doomed or failed relationship. Now we have let your friends help you. That better be friends that already have had successful relationships and marriages. This could be the one. Maybe going outside of your comfort zone, trying something new here. Listen to your friends. Maybe your friends are trying to recommend someone that they think is your type. 
if you have a type, it could be going outside of your usual type. I'm not 100% sure, but I see attraction here. The bottom of the deck, past life relationship. This could be questions, questioning or getting a second opinion about should you reapproach your ex here. Now with King of Swords showing up in a reading, that could be a second opinion or that could be couples counseling. But that's what I have for you here today. Pisces, water signs, all magical and whatnot. Uh, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel, bring other water signs and Pisces into the reading for these good therapeutic sessions. Catch you on in the next one. Maybe not at nighttime. Deuces.